Baggage, your Western Roundup, a full hour of musical range riding that starts here in... Boy Curry, bless his heart, we still miss him, was one of the big reasons we sounded the way we did. Roy made sure that we inflect it and pronounce it properly or hear some of Roy's own goddamn rotten son of bitch language. As a result, we always had a slick, smooth, well-oiled sound. STP helped. I'm sure it must have been what they added to the CFQC coffee. Maybe it kept us going longer without burning out. And speaking of coffee, you remember the time that Bill Murphy added the rum to the coffee urn during the holiday season. Ha! <laughs> tasted a lot better than STP. Dennis Fisher was the genius behind a myriad of promotion ideas. Many stand the test of time. This one doesn't. Somehow this doesn't seem right for today either. However, that model looks pretty good. Now this one would fit right in with the sound on today's Radio 600. Remember when grocery bags were grocery bags? A night on the town with Libby's? Somehow that fails to get me excited about a night on the town. We used to cash in on whatever was happening at the time, our 50th anniversary. The Olympics one year. Jaws? Well, this shows the extent of our promotion department's creativity in those days. A horror movie used to reflect a positive image of our station? Wow! And another horror story turned positive. Let's take inflation and change it to winflation. Now, who couldn't love that idea? You could win inflation-free cash for this one. I became Redford, Wally played Newman, and I understand Redford and Newman were delighted. Birthdays are always good, even when the station turned 52, we celebrated. But we just promoted and promoted and promoted. How'd that billboard get in there? Now, just a minute. <laughs> 